Hello everyone, Ryan from Earthroom Gardens and welcome to part two of two of this cleanup. A bunch of you may have noticed that on Wednesday, just gone, George from Quick Cuts actually uploaded a video of mine um, that he edited himself. I actually reached out to him a few weeks ago to see if there was anything that he could do to help me grow the channel and he basically offered to do the edits for me, um, put it up on his channel and give my channel a little bit of a plug at the same time. And because of that, I gained an extra 1,500 subscribers in the space of about 24 hours. So, George, I don't know if you watch any other videos of other gardeners. You probably don't have the time. But in case you are watching this, thank you very much for all your help. Greatly appreciate it. If you are a new subscriber to my channel, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy this content. Please feel free to drop me a comment. Let me know where you're from. Um, let me know what aspects of my channel you're enjoying so far. I'd love to hear from you. But I'm not forgetting about those longtime subscribers of mine also. Um, I always appreciate your support. So feel free to drop me a comment as well. I will leave the talking at that and I'll just get stuck straight into the work. I hope you enjoy this one. I do manage to get the whole backyard done in this visit. So sit back and relax and enjoy some satisfying work. See you next time.
All right, now if any of you remember watching this yard, this backyard, the first time I tackled it uh, about a year ago, uh, you'll remember that these two parts that I have done in the first 20 minutes, so this section here, the path, and this little bit here, I believe that took me one full episode, uh, at least last time I was here. So that's how bad it was in comparison to this time around. I know it looks really daunting and very long, and it is, um, but it's cutting really well and the edges aren't anywhere near as bad as they were last time. Like I said, this path was completely covered with grass and dirt, so it was shovel work too. And I pretty much won't have to do any of that this time around. It's just a mow and go type thing. So a lot easier. But anyway, still a big task ahead. But um, we're getting there. And big thank you to Chris, a subscriber of mine who has sent me in the mail a couple of these masks that you see me wearing. Um, I know a lot of you for a while have been saying I need to look at getting some kind of mask to protect my lungs and um, someone decided to take action for me so thank you very much Chris it's extremely helpful and it does make a massive difference. All right let's get back to work.
everyone <clears throat> that is the backyard complete and this project over now I did mow a second time off camera I dropped the deck one notch lower um, not a great deal but it gave me the ability to just tidy the grass up a little bit more make it a bit more even and also pick up anything that I missed with the rake there is still a bit left on the ground it isn't gonna thatch or anything um, it will it'll be fine in springtime I did manage to pick up most of it um, yeah patio is now usable once again and so is the entire backyard for that fact um, now just a reminder that it was just the lawns it wasn't removal of ivy it wasn't removal of other green waste it wasn't removal of bricks or cement just uh, the gentleman wanted the lawns done and his yard reclaimed and, and we've done that all right um, big difference this time around instead of getting it done in three or four parts or I think six or seven parts for the entire yard, front and back included. I've managed to get it done in two this time. Um, so pretty happy with that. And hope you guys enjoy this footage. Thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hang around for some before and afters.